For some who have lost a loved one during the pandemic, it's been difficult not being able to honor that person's life properly because of COVID-19 guidelines. 12 News consumer reporter Gina Marini spoke with the president-elect of the Rhode Island Funeral Directors Association to learn about the state's current restrictions and the challenges funeral homes are facing. Losing a loved one is difficult, but to not be able to celebrate their life surrounded by friends or family is something many never had to face before COVID. I spoke with one funeral director who tells me this has been one of the most challenging times for families. When we say goodbye to a loved one, it's the beginning of closure. It acknowledges the death and allows for the healing process to begin. That's according to Rhode Island Funeral Directors Association President-elect Alan Bellows. When you have restrictions in place where that's not available, it does take an effect on people's mental health uh, as they grieve. Funeral Director of Menard Lacachore Funeral Homes, Craig Lacachore, says funeral directors are met with many tragic situations, but says having to explain to a family about limitations has been one of the most difficult challenges he's had to face. When someone passes away, uh, people want to hear from the funeral home what they can do for them. One of the last things anyone wants to hear is what they can't do. Bellows tells me when the pause was put in place in November, wakes and funerals also had to scale back. You could only have private family viewings uh, up to one household at a time uh, within the funeral home. If a family didn't belong to a house of worship or they're non-religious, you know, we weren't able to provide a venue for a live stream service. But now the state is easing restrictions, allowing funeral homes to hold public visitations and services with up to 15 people inside and as many as 25 people outside at the burial site. Bellows tells me some funeral homes are offering streaming services or using the radio so more people can attend the funeral or the wake in their car at a safe distance. Gina Marini, 12 News.